California could soon pay illegal immigrants to not work. It's the latest state incentive to pay unemployed illegal immigrants up to $300 a week. The state Senate passed this measure despite the fact that the state faces nearly a $32 billion deficit. The bill is expected to pass the assembly. But Governor Gavin Newsom has not signed it or not said if he will sign it into law. Our next guest broke the story. Joining me now is the Washington Free Beacon reporter, Susanna Luthi. Susanna, great to have you on the program this morning. You broke this story. It's still incredibly shocking. So unemployment benefits for illegal immigrants. Help me understand. Yes, yeah, so this is a measure that's kind of in line with California's uh, push on illegal immigration. Uh, Governor Gavin Newsom declared California to be a sanctuary state when he was inaugurated. California already supplies uh, free medical uh, insurance, Medicaid, to illegal immigrants, as well as driver's licenses. So this is the latest uh, turn in this story. And yes, as you said, it's $300 a week for up to 20 weeks. And uh, state officials would not be allowed to contact former employers to to validate their status uh, as employees. It would be completely mm -hmm. self attested, and and uh, you know immigrants could use use uh, um, you know bus passes, uh, patterns of 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 toll toll payments, right. et cetera, to prove to prove their employment. Here's what here's what California Democrats are saying to help to their rationale to justify their program. They're saying due to historically racial exclusions, many of California's most vulnerable workers are entirely excluded from the program. So so Susanna, tell us how this would work. You just mentioned you don't have they're not allowed to call your prior uh, prior employers. They're not really allowed to ask about your your status for a Social Security number. So you said self attestation. So an illegal immigrant goes in, cr crosses the border illegally, comes into California, and does what to begin receiving $300 a week? So they have to attest that they have earned at least $1,300 in the past three months or worked 93 hours in the past three months. And then they have kind of a series, a checklist of of documents that they can send to the state uh, to start collecting. This comes, of course, after the agency that's a, that would be in charge of dispensing these checks, that's the state labor agency called the Education, uh, I mean, the Employment Development Department. It was formally run by President Biden's nominee to be labor secretary for the feds. Under her leadership during the pandemic, that agency was defrauded an estimated $31 billion. Yeah. The unemployment fund is actually in a $20 billion hole right now that currently California businesses are on the hook for covering. <laughs> oh, so, so, so all of that is, is also added context for this. And the state would have to pay um, pay considerable amount of money, according to analysts, to to get the agency ready to deal with potential fraud. So the agency in and of itself is at, what'd you say, a $20 billion deficit? The state yes. is at a $32 billion deficit. And this particular program has been defrauded by, what was it, 31, what'd you say? Th was that 31 30? billion. The billions yes, are hard to keep up with, Susanna. <laughs> so, so let's go ahead and expand it to people who uh, got into the country illegally. Just, just absolutely a model, model of competence in California. Thank you for breaking the story and sharing with us this morning on Fox & Friends. Susanna Luthi. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.